Zendu Fitness, what is happening today? Fam, we are super pumped to talk to you about how to jump rope for boxing today. So you've seen in the past, we've done some jump rope boxing type videos, but we're like, you know what? Dan and I aren't pros. We're not guys who are competing at that level. So let's bring someone who is competing on that level in here today for the tutorial. So we got my boy Mateo from the cartel boxing YouTube channel. We're gonna link him up at the end of this video, but this guy is a three-time uh, Australian champion. He is a former Olympian. Dude used to train with Freddie Roach. Used to spar it up with Manny Pacquiao. Dude's a real deal. So when you hear advice from this guy, you know that it is exactly what you should be putting into practice. So today we're gonna teach you exactly how to jump rope for boxing. Whether you wanna get into boxing or you just want the boxing physique, we're trying to combine the two worlds of the fitness and the boxing so you're gonna see in today's video here let's get into it before we do though before we do make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this like it comment below if you have any questions let's get after this Zendu Fitness cartel boxing YouTube channel let's roll we're gonna teach you how to skip like a box up now we're gonna drop the rope so you start on your toes so get on the ball of your feet between your toes and the ball of your feet. So you're really light, all right? And you just keep, you, you just, you, you get a nice pace, you get a nice rhythm, and you keep that rhythm going. It's like a beat. Try, 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 to, try to do it to some music, whatever you like, hip hop, electro, whatever it is. And you just get that timing, you know? One, two. And then you switch it up. One side, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Once you get that pace and you start getting a, a rhythm, then after about, let's say, five minutes, grab that, grab that rope. Incorporate the rope with the rhythm. One, two, one, two. And, and, and even if you want, count it out. One, two, two. One, two. One. And just keep on the balls of your feet. You know what I mean? Keep it real light, keep it real easy, you know? And just have fun with it. That's it, that's what it's about. It's about having fun. That's it. Do crossovers, mix it up. A lot of boxers tend to also, they switch from side to side. So what they do is, they put your left side, if you go onto the left side, you put the left hand in front and the right sort of parallel to the forearm and you sort of roll the wrist. So everything isn't in your shoulders, it's more in your wrists. Roll in your wrists and then incorporate your skipping back into it, onto your toes. Back in. All right, Dan, so we're rolling that wrist. Now bring it in when you're ready. That's it. See how he's got that, that smooth pace and it's sped up, but there's a rhythm. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And he just keeps going. And then he can roll it back out again. That's to get, that's to get that wrist motion going. Also, it works, works, your, it works your, your upper body. It works your shoulders as well. Even though you're not really using your shoulders, you're using your wrists and your forearms more. Once you start to get better at it and you start to pick up that pace and you get that rhythm, you can start doing some little tricks. Start doing doubles. So when you start doing doubles, you're still light on your toes. It's a bounce. Everything to do with skipping when you're boxing, it's a bounce. It's the same thing when you're boxing in the ring. When you box in the ring, you're on your toes. There's a bounce. So it all incorporates as one. See some tricks, bro. Come on. That's it. And see how he's really light on his toes and he bounces? That's what it's about. Now, if you start to stuff up, you keep stuffing up between the rope and, you, and your feet, challenge yourself to sort of, you know what? I'm gonna do 10 push-ups so I get it right, so I don't have to do push-ups anymore. That's what boxers do. They try to challenge themselves to basically when they stuff up, they need to perfect their skipping part of their training routine. Most boxers, before they start training, they do a warm up and they skip. And they also finish by the end of the session, after about an hour, hour and a half, always they finish off with the jump rope. Now at the start of a session, of a boxing session, they skip between 15 minutes to 20 minutes to warm up. At a, at a decent pace. A decent pace would be something like, like this. Just, just a comfortable pace, like you're doing a jog, similar to that. So you skip in and you're just doing a comfortable pace to get that heart rate up, 
get that blood flow, get you warmed up. So obviously your muscles and everything is warmed up before you start boxing because you're utilizing your whole body when you box, you know. So do about 15 to 20 minutes of um, skipping and then towards the end of your session, do about 10 minutes to finish off. And then in that 10 minutes, you can start to incorporate, let's say you do three minutes because every round in boxing is three minutes for a professional fighter. In the last, in, in let's say the last 30 seconds, you can start doing double unders and start doing tricks. And then go back to that normal pace again. And then in that 30 seconds, do your doubles and do your, do your tricks, whatever you want to do. So you saw myself, you saw Dan try to give this whole jump rope for boxing thing a shot. I think we did okay, but we wanted to show you the real deal now. We want to show you how like a professional boxer jumps rope. So my dude right here is going to take you through the progression that we just went through. Jumping a rope without a rope or just going through the rhythm of skipping, bringing in the rope and then turning up a little bit, doing some tricks. Let's roll. So you guys, this is so big. The, one of the biggest things I've learned about jumping rope from Mateo is what you're gonna see him do right here is before he even starts jumping rope, he really focuses on bouncing, not just on the balls of his feet, but between his toes and the balls of his feet. So it's like right in there. And so when he does that, it makes him much more lighter on his feet, makes him explosive, allows him to like move around the ring like a boxer and develop that agility. And so this is a game changer, you guys. Please take this advice to heart and watch what he's doing here and try to implement this yourself when you skip rope the next time. All right, my dude's gonna bring in the rope now. He's gonna show you a little bit of what it looks like to skip as a boxer. You can see here, nothing changes with his feet. He's super light. You can see it looks like he's almost floating. He's floating right now because what he's doing is he's barely touching the ground and he's really focusing on just keeping himself in between the balls of his feet and his toes. And all the movement up top just happens in his wrist. You can see here, he's not moving his arms around a ton. He's not moving his shoulders. He's not jerky. Everything's happening in his wrist and on the balls of his feet. And that's why when he jumps rope, it looks almost effortless. It looks like it's not he's not working hard, but when he's doing this for a continued period of time, he's gonna get an awesome cardio workout and his agility is gonna improve dramatically. So now I'm gonna give Mateo an opportunity to show off a little bit, let him do his, his boxer thing. And man, you just whip that rope like, like you're getting after it. Like, like you said earlier, guys, he, he brings it about a jogging pace in the beginning of those like three minute rounds. In the last 30 seconds, he turns it up and he goes as hard as he can. And he really tries to incorporate tricks and just the, the overall high intensity that you need to continue to improve your skill set. You guys, this is difficult as well. He, he's using a quarter pound rope. This is the cross rope right here he's using. The agility rope, we linked it in the description below for you. This is great for just overall agility, burning fat. Woo! You can see this guy's a pro because this rope is not only way too big for him, it's also a rope that he's never used before. So he's getting his bearings around this rope and he's still whipping it super well. And that's what happens when you have a really deeply embedded skill set like he does with jump and rope. But you can see here, even with the quarter pound rope, he's whipping this hard. And the reason he's able to do so is because he's conditioned himself, he's practiced. Bro, how many years have you been jumping rope? Uh, like 12, 13? This guy's been jumping rope for 12 or 13 years. I've been jumping rope for like, seriously, a year and a half, Dan, four or five years. And you can see mastery comes through practice, guys. You guys, thanks so much for checking out the video today. If you wanna see more of this guy, we're gonna link up his channel in the description below, his YouTube channel, Cartel Boxing. The thing that we notice is there's no real pro boxers out there teaching boxing the right way. And this is actually the dude who's been training me and it's been an incredibly fun and just an experience where I've learned really fast because he's a good coach. So if you wanna check him out, you wanna check out his channel, you wanna learn how to box, or you just wanna learn how to get shredded like this dude, check out his YouTube channel linked up in the description and we'll link it up one of his videos at the end of this video as well. I'm gonna let you just take it from here, whip that rope a little bit, let's get out of here.